Hi Aries, it's me, Rena Wells. I am your intuitive and your medicine woman, and I'm here to do your reading for July Aries. So if you are new, welcome to my channel. If you like and subscribe today, just saying, it doesn't have to be today. Uh, I'm linking a video down below. I'm gonna be running a sweepstakes. So you could be giving away my tarot deck, which I'm using here. It's called the Cosmic Tarot. And uh, I'm also, oh, we're going through some transition here, Aries. <laughs> We're going to take a look at that in just a minute. So, um, yeah, and so if you want to be a part of that, I'm, uh, you also get a chance to win a free reading with me or a 30-minute read with me or my deck. So all the info is down below. Take a look. You'll have to comment, like, and subscribe, and watch that video down below for the instructions. Okay, so let's get started. This is four. One flipped up here as well. We have two major arcanas coming out straight off the bat here. For you, Aries, we have death in the chariot. So you are out like the races here, okay? And this is for love. So I'm feeling like you are out of there. I think you're out of a situation. I'm seeing a home life that you're completely done with. I feel that um, you're considering moving. Some of you may be considering moving. And remember, take this as your person or you. Uh, but there is definitely an energy of moving out very quickly, very fast. This is general, right? So, um, yeah, let's see what is going on here for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. We have the Five of Cups in reverse in the head space. In the heart space for Aries, we have two coming out. We have the King of Wands in reverse with the Six of Swords. Definitely moving on energy. And location and traveling, okay? Some of you may be traveling or your person may be traveling and moving action space we have the judgment with the emperor divine masculine having a massive resurrection here okay and outcome here for aries we have five swords in reverse so yeah massive um we have two fives here too which is about change and they're both in the reverse i swear to god i'm getting mosquito bit, bit here um yeah so five of cups in reverse and the judgment with the emperor massive resurrection um, the masculine is currently moving cities. That's what I'm hearing. Moving cities, moving country, taking a relocation, asking their company for a relocation, um, getting the hell as far as they can from the situation that they're in. That's really what I'm getting. They're running. Run for the hill, Bob Barker. I don't know where I'm hearing that. Run for them hills, basically and literally. He's out of there. Um, and wanting to end conflict here. What is going on for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? Let's clarify here. We have Seven of Swords, clarifying the Five of Cups in reverse. Clarifying the King of Wands and the Six of Swords in the heart space. We have three cards coming out. Eight of Cups, the Ace of Pentacles, and the Seven of Wands in reverse. Like, seriously. This person is running for their life from whatever they were in. Um, they're not actioning anything. They're getting in a boat. They're going in the Six of Swords. They're breaking down whatever they've built. Their, their walls have been completely broken, and they are leaving a situation to build something brand new. I feel like a clean slate is really coming through for this person. They're willing to, to sell, to lose the money. They're willing to um, relocate um, somewhere closer to their children. They may have been pulled away from their children, and so they're moving closer to their children. Or they may be... Um, taking their children and moving with their kids for some clarify the judgment with the emperor we have the king of pentacles in reverse the three of pentacles in reverse and the page of cups and the page of cups sometimes can mean breakup as well emotional instability things not working not building anymore not dealing with whatever they were dealing with like they're pretty much done with it clarify here the five of swords in reverse the empress they want to end the conflict with the empress with the divine feminine nothing was birthing or nothing was was abundant where they were ten of swords with the knight of wands in reverse so i'm really getting a huge upheaval here i'm feeling like this person has been actually in a separation for a really long time okay i feel like they have already moved out of a house but what i'm feeling is like finally some kind of like and I know I don't have the justice card or anything, but I feel like some kind of court case has finally ended and they can finally have the funds to actually move. That's what I'm getting. So you've been waiting for something to finally come to an end, um, a justice or like a court case or somebody buying somebody out. Like it's finally happening here is really the energy that I'm getting. Um, 
I'm seeing the Seven of Swords not as manipulation. I'm seeing it as planning and financially planning and finally able to end their regrets because finally some type of ending has happened here. What is this ending with the chariot? Yeah, so they can move forward with the Knight of Swords here. So what I'm getting with the Seven of Swords is more like planning and kind of, you know, yeah, using their intuition with the High Priestess here, planning and moving forward. Yeah, because they're leaving something that was very disheartened in the past, no passion, um, no Zaza, not even Zaza Zing, but just no, like, it's just dead. It's just like, bleh. And that could be like a, I, I'm feeling, yeah, yeah, I'm seeing some, sorry guys, I'm feeling for some, it could be a move in career or a promotion in a career that this person is finally moving closer to you. This is for some a twin flame journey that they're finally like able to come closer to you and it's their karma was their work or their mother's situation, I'm getting some for a mother. It's not always just a, a karma doesn't have to be a third party marriage, right? It can be anything. And I feel like, and for others, it could be somebody who's finally like finished their degree and they can come back and they needed that time to just figure out their own life and live their own thing for a bit. And I think that's kind of what's happening here. Yeah, because we have the eight of, right, the eight of pentacles here for all the hard work that they've been putting in. So this person is really coming into a place of like, there was a lot of hard work. I'm focused and I'm ready to do something now where maybe they weren't ready before and they may have had to like take a job offer and move away from you. Or they may have had to, you know, room with somebody because they were financially unstable and go to a, a town that didn't have a lot of money. Or a lower plate, uh, sorry, not a lot of money. A lower um, rental or a lower uh, cost of living so that they could actually make it work. It's kind of what I'm feeling. Um, but whatever they did, they've learned and they've built up. Yeah, they can build new plans now. They don't have to be where they're at anymore. And they pushed away... Um, their divine feminine yeah because they had to be single and they had to become abundant with that nine of pentacles yeah that's what i'm feeling and so some investments are coming in um and we have a pair here <clears throat> with the king of pentacles and the queen of pentacles some of you could be young i'm getting like a younger vibe here that maybe they had to go home and live with their parents maybe you guys tried to live together and they had to go home and live with their parents and like save up their 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 savings or something and you couldn't leave because you had to do your your job was there something like that for some of you yeah yeah or something like a distant something the wheel separated you okay but yeah because things weren't manifesting for a foundation that's really what i'm getting <clears throat> sorry my throat this person wants to talk to you i feel like you guys may have lost some communication but i don't feel it was like a really bad communication ending or that you don't talk nearly as much or it's in depth but it was almost like you guys maybe tried to create something before, but it just wasn't lining up. But now it's time to line up. It wasn't manifesting before. Yeah. Yeah, the Nine of Cups. Whatever you thought um, your wishes for this person, it just wasn't there yet. But I feel like it's coming around now. And it's moving forward again. Let's, uh, let's see about ending conflict with the Divine Feminine here by not actioning a betrayal. This person may have felt like really betrayed. Three of Cups in reverse. Maybe even had to end a friendship. I feel like this was a maturing process for you guys. Like a growing process. We have two Pentacles in reverse with the Ten of Wands. And I feel like it was like you had to take uh, you had to go your separate ways to take responsibility for your own stuff before you could come back together. And that was the maturing process. And it doesn't mean that you guys have to be, it can be any age. This is just the scenario that I'm getting is like, you almost had to amicably say, you know what, we have to go our separate ways or it just kind of happened that way. And, or you just lost touch with each other. And it's like, now something is moving forward. What is this chariot that's moving forward? The world returning to the past. Something's coming back around here. And it could be like you were childhood friends or it could have been that you had a really strange encounter and it's coming back to you. We have like the Ten of Swords here that we feel like it's like, I don't even feel like it's betrayal. It's almost like you're just at ground zero and both of you have built up to a certain point that you have actually to something to contribute to each other right now. Yeah, the moon in reverse. You both had to go through your separate dark nights of the soul separately is what I'm getting. You, one person may have actually been had to be, go fly to the other side of the world on an internship or some type of work. And now that's done. You know what, what's coming up? You know that, that scene in Friends where uh, Phoebe's love, David, had to go to um, Russia to do some science thing? 
you know, and they had like one night together or something. It's kind of like that kind of feeling. And you're like, what the hell? Like, don't go to Russia, you know, but <laughs> they had to go to Russia. It's kind of, yeah, I don't feel like, sorry, I know my nose is acting up. I don't feel like there's like animosity here. There may have been because of the circumstances and the situation, but I feel like there's been a lot of healing in this connection. I feel a lot of softness in this connection and I feel like you're you've been moving on and like I think that transition and and the viewer has like really moved on in their life and you know I, I'm really kind of getting here actually <clears throat> thank you spirit like this ending here right with the crows and stuff and the ending it's kind of like this see how one horse is running in one direction and the knight is running in the other direction it's kind of like something like that happened and you had to kind of like going their separate ways just hang on pace can you please keep it down sorry my daughter and um so pace sorry. gaming and so they had to go in like two different directions clarify the two different directions for spirit yeah so you're ending your regrets about what happened with the separation you're both ready to actually try something new and take that cup of love now from God. Yeah, to temper the, the path that you had to get off, the page of wands in reverse, that you couldn't actually like discover this together. You had to discover something separately in order to come back with temperance, with the two cups, with the two fountains of water that are ready to meet up and alchemize something together. So this is a very peaceful energy is what I'm getting. I'm not getting drama or anything exciting like Aries. I think this is a very, you know, you've done your work. Both of you have done your work. And I think there's something really beautiful happening here. Yeah, you weren't able to give to each other because there was something else that you had to do. Look at this. One had to go in the water. One had to stay on land. There's a lot of traveling with this. So this is a specific story. But there's definitely something with like... Um, going into different directions here and one's watching the other person you may want to watch aquarius because something about a boat came up with them about the love boat <laughs> but yeah take it as it resonates but i'm feeling like there's peace between the two of you and this definitely i feel is like a twin flame connection yeah and you're both like ready to invest you're kind of both waiting and watching each other i kind of feel like you're both watching each other and being like hmm I'm feeling like they're thinking of me. Are they thinking of me? And Spirit's like, yes, they are. Like, you're thinking of them, they're thinking of you. Like, that's, that's really what I'm thinking of. Let's get some... I want to pull one more, actually. Yeah, the truth is about to come out about that crossroad. See, you're both wondering about... Uh, are they thinking of me? Are they going to come communicate? Am I thinking of them? Are they... Yeah. The two... So, yeah, you are. <laughs> that's validation right there. Yeah. You're both feeling a bit wounded, but you've learned... You've learned your lessons. The guard is coming down and you've learned your lessons for this, this sacred connection. Oh, this is really beautiful. I'm going to pull the um, divine counterparts in separation for Aries, please. What is going on for my beautiful Aries for July? <sighs> this is beautiful. Yeah. I'll be out with the rest of the Zodiacs uh, probably in the next couple of couple of days. I'm going to try to get them out tomorrow. If not tomorrow, for sure, by Monday. I might do two, the rest, like two tomorrow and then two on Monday. So... Um, yeah, so stay tuned for those. Let's see. Don't forget to like and subscribe, guys. Really helps my channel to grow. Let's take a look. What is going on for Aries? We're going to take a look. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Aries. This is beautiful energy. So may, some of you may have been with a, with a third party, okay? I'm thinking of them, but I'm with, uh, I'm with them, but thinking of you, and so they have doubt. So... Whatever separated you guys, there may have been third party for some of you, but it doesn't have to be a relationship. Again, third party, like I was saying at the beginning of this, could have been schooling, could have been a work, could have been a transfer. But look at this energy that you're both feeling. Empress, this person is feeling their divine feminine and destiny awaits. Look kind of how beautiful that is right there. Just destiny awaits and the Empress energy. So very beautiful energy is coming through for you, Aries. Yeah, someone may have ran away from this. Uh, I know that this is a soul connection and running away. So you both may have ran and spirit wants you to realize. I think you both come into that realization because with these, the knight and the chariot, one running in one direction, <laughs> this for these two cards and one running in the other. You're both, you're both running away. 
<laughs> right? You're both, boop, bye. <laughs> so yeah, I think that that's what's happened here. But there's peace now between the connection, and I feel that. So I think that's really beautiful. What's going on for Aries, please? What is going on for Aries? Ascension's happening. Ascension, truth, and inner worlds. Wow, Aries. Truth, ascension, and your inner worlds. I'm sorry, guys. The lighting is not the greatest right now. Where did that focus is? Ascension. Sorry, bifocals now. Seriously. <laughs> your soul is evolving to higher states of consciousness. You are ready for this. Wow. Truth. You, sorry, see your light. Know your power, have the courage to walk in your truth. And I think that's what both of you have been doing. I think there's very much a mirrored effect that's happening here, Aries. We have inner world. Your external world is a reflection of your internal world. So that that's a beautiful mirror that is definitely happening between the two of you. Let's take a look at some angel answers. What is going on for Aries? Sun, moon, rising, Venus, and north node, please, spirit. What is going on for Aries? Yeah, this is a really peaceful energy. Nice way to end my night. Get them uploaded. Chill out. Watch a movie with the kids. Yeah, what is going on for Aries? Thank you, Spirit. What is going on for Aries? Within the next few weeks, something's going to happen. Somebody is about to take action. So both of you are watching each other right now. There's definitely going to be action and an opportunity that is definitely going to open up here for you guys. It's going to happen in the most perfect timing, so just wait for it. So viewer, just wait for it. If you've been wondering, that is exactly what's happening here. Really beautiful energies. All right, let's take a look at the romance angels. What is going on for my beautiful Aries? What is going on? It's so peaceful. I like want to sing a song and just like run through a field of wildflowers and dance with barefoot. <laughs> That's what I feel like in your connection right now. It's really beautiful. What is going on with it? It's funny because like Aries are very fiery and very, you know, yeah. But it's like I, exactly what I'm feeling, romantic feelings. I'm like, oh, this feels so nice. Yeah. Give me some of that, Aries. Give me some of that. <laughs> What's going on with Aries here? Yeah, calling in or see you're calling each other in. Both of you are here mirroring each other. Do you see this picture? You're both calling each other in really beautiful yeah you're gonna have some really heart to heart heart to heart, heart conversations here you're really gonna do that and have this talk and be like what's going on here this is a true love situation aries it's coming back here there's something about the two of you true love friends are going to be helping you and i feel like this is also the angels helping the situation last one this could be the one i can't even with those synchronicities beautiful 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 aries if you like this aries don't forget to like and subscribe and get a part be a part of the giveaway that is happening okay and i'm going to be going live and uh even if you do a small donation i'll read for you right in that hour and i'm going to be pulling out of the hat as well if you like and subscribe and come to the live event for free readings and then you get to be automatically entered to win a live reading with me or a recorded reading or you get my deck <laughs> So, yeah, I'm just going to give it away and I pay shipping and everything to wherever you're at. Ain't no cost to any of y'all. <laughs> what is going on for Aries here? What is going on for Aries? Oh, my God, Aries, milk and honey. Look at that. Beautiful abundance coming in for you, Aries. Absolutely beautiful abundance. Everything that you've been wanting is actually coming to you, okay? Whatever was not for you was, and it didn't happen. And I feel like both of you have, have had experiences where things didn't work out in the past and things just weren't happening and you're like where is my person like this may have ended and you may have gone to a place of being like okay like you know why is this not happening and spirit is like it wasn't for you because this was actually your milk and honey the entire time and it's come things coming up coming towards you we have imagine here and this is like you've been thinking and daydreaming of this person and they've been thinking and daydreaming of you as well here and now it's here and now it's actually going to be happening here and now. It's very close by, right? This is a never-ending story that you've been struggling with, Aries, right? Just really struggling with, <sighs> okay, if this is not my person, where is my person? But you're going to find out the truth very, very soon because this is, um, yeah. You had to go your separate ways here, Spirit is saying. Oh, my God, you both, look at this. You had to, yeah, you both had to walk away here. 
at a certain point here. Okay, you had to. You had to go those separate ways to do this healing, to bring in that divine timing, which the Spirit was saying was perfect timing. And look at this, because you both had this deep knowing, this deep knowing of what this really was. And now you've got true love, and this could be the one. And yeah, some and destiny calls. Beautiful, beautiful energy, Aries. So much love. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and take a look if you down below if you want to work with me. I am doing readings again. And yeah, have a wonderful rest of your weekend, and I'll see you guys soon. Bye.